It's time for another quick knockout in round two. Round two, of course, no brewing. We've already got our matcha brewed up from the round one knockouts. So our winners coming in from round one are Blend 98 from Breakaway Matcha and Matcha Semiadori from Rishi Tea. Let's get reacquainted with the uh, smells and tastes of each. Even the Semiadori, which has been sitting out the longest now at this point. Still super fresh and sweet on the aroma. Yeah, that's just a good general, good flavor. Go back over here to Blend 98 from Breakaway Matcha. Some of that initial chocolate punch and the aroma started to die down now a bit, but it's still there. Hmm. Not a clear cut winner in this round. Go back to the Semiadori. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, they're both really good. Having, having trouble picking up between these. Some of these taste tests, because of the random nature of how everything came together, of course, you end up with some less high-level ones next to some really decent, but there's a very clear winner in some of these tastes, and in this case, super, super close. Okay, I think, one more taste? They're just both really, really good. But I think just eking out the victory in this round, we're gonna have to give it to the Semidori from Arishi. I almost wanted to give it to the Blend 98 just because of that novel, chocolate aroma, but when it comes to the taste, I think just, just squeaking out a win, I'm giving it to the Semiadori. So with that win, Semiadori moves on to round three and our bracket looks like this. And I can now tell you about Blend 98 from Breakaway Matcha. The 30 gram container of this matcha comes in at $79, so one of their more premium options, uh, right in the middle of the road kind of for the portfolio of Breakaway Matcha. So that brings us in at $2.63 per gram. Don't know season or cultivar. We do know that it comes from the Ujitawara uh, Kyoto region. And the description is as follows. Crazy umami. Make it thick and enjoy the lustrous whirls and creamy, yet light texture, mouthfeel, and drawn out finish. Taste reminds one of just picked asparagus, though the aroma of the powder is of hyper fresh cacao. Yeah, wow, that is just so weird. You, I would suggest getting even just the flight just to get that aroma. It's so unique out of all the matchas I've tried. It's worth it for that. Loaded with L-theanine and helps keep you focused and alert for hours. Another winner from our favorite matcha co-op in Ujitawara, Kyoto. All right. That's going to do it for this round two knockout, and I will see you tomorrow for another one.